Take them. Take them. This book is property of the Half-Blood Prince. Who's the Half-Blood Prince? Who? For weeks you carry around this book, and yet you have no desire to find out who the Half-Blood Prince is. I didn't say I wasn't curious. Professor Snape. Sure. Severus Snape. Severus. Who's that teacher talking to Professor Quirrell? Oh, that's Professor Snape, head of Slytherin House. What's he teach? Potions. But everyone knows it's the dark arts he fancies. There will be no foolish wand-waving or silly incantations in this class. I don't expect many of you to appreciate the subtle science and exact art that is potion making. However, for those select few, I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. I can tell you how to bottle fame, brew glory, and even put a stopper in death. Snape, he, he was the... Yes. He does seem the type, doesn't he? Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. During the Quidditch match, Snape tried to kill me. Mm, no, dear boy. I tried to kill you. Snape was trying to save me. Th then, then you let the troll in. Very good, Potter, yes. Snape, unfortunately, wasn't fooled. He, of course, never trusted me again. Severus, I, 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 I... You don't want me as your enemy, Quirrell. Oh, don't kill me. The prophecy did not refer to a woman. It spoke of a boy born at the end of July. Yes, but he thinks it's her son. He intends to hunt them down now to kill them. No one can know. But I should never reveal the best of you, Severus. Your word. When you risk your life every day to protect the boy. He possesses no measurable talent. His arrogance rivals even that of his father, and he seems to relish us. Feeling sentimental. <laughs> That's private. Not to me. Not to the Dark Lord, if you don't improve. Hide her. Hide them all. I beg you. What will you give me in exchange, Severus? Anything. Every memory he has access to is a weapon he can use against you. You won't last two seconds if he invades your mind. I'm safe. Be strong. You said you would keep her safe. Did he and James? Put their faith in the wrong person, Severus. Rather like you. They're just like your father. Lazy, arrogant. Don't say a word against my father. Weak. I'm not weak. Then prove it. Control your emotions. The boy survives. Does not need protection? The Dark Lord is gone. The Dark Lord will return. When he does, the boy will be in terrible danger. He has her eyes. Father was a swine. We both know Lord Voldemort has ordered the Malfoy boy to murder me. But should he fail, one should presume the Dark Lord will turn to you. The Dark Lord told you. Your sister doubts me. Seven. Understand. Well, over the years, I've played my part well, so well, I've deceived one of the greatest wizards of all time. Dumbledore is a great wizard. Only a fool would question it. I don't doubt you, sir. You must be the one to kill me, Severus. It is the only way. Please. Only then will the Dark Lord trust you completely. I've had a good advice. <laughs> He'll give it his best effort. When it matters most, he'll just slither back into the hole. Think of Fight back! You coward, fight back! Coward. Coward. He belongs to the Dark Lord. Take them center! 
I dare use my own spells against me, Potter. You've been a good and faithful servant, Severus. But only I can live forever. I'm the half-blood prince, my lord. There will come a time when Harry Potter must be told something. Take me. <laughs> Must be told what? On the night Lord Voldemort went to Godric's Hollow to kill Harry, a part of Voldemort's soul latched itself onto the only living thing it could find. Harry himself. A part of Voldemort lives inside him. So when the time comes, the boy must die. Yes. He must die. You've kept him alive so that he can die at the proper moment. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for the boy. Look at me. You have your mother's eyes. Lily. After all this time. Always. Albus Severus Potter. You were named after two headmasters of Hogwarts. One of them was a Slytherin. And he was the bravest man I've ever known.